A three-year research project has found the waters around a remote Northern Territory archipelago are as biodiverse as parts of the Great Barrier Reef. Traditional owners hope to use the information to better protect the fisheries in their waters and develop new industries. The coastal waters off Groot Island in the Gulf of Carpentaria are vitally important to the Anandiliaqua people. The uh, sea country, it, it is our supermarket, as we all know. And uh, for us, it's a, um, it's a base, of, base for our economic future here on the island. Traditional owners have spent thousands of hours and nearly a million dollars to map the seabed around their island. The federal government's Marine Science Agency, which has coordinated the project, relied on the sea ranger's knowledge. The rangers provide us information where otherwise we'd have really nothing. The undersea maps show Groot's rich waters contain 240 species of fish, comparable in diversity to parts of the northern Great Barrier Reef. They give us general uh, areas of importance and specific habitats and species that are, are uh, significant. Once the island's manganese mine winds up within the next decade, traditional owners plan to use the biodiversity mapping to help develop new tourism and aquaculture businesses. The lagoons all around Groot could be um, sites for farming of high, high, high value protein export to the north. They'll also use it to argue for more sustainable fisheries management. We think that there should be better controls and accountability around the existing fishing that goes on in those waters, um, currently further out from the lagoons, where we seek evidence of considerable damage. Among the most important species they found are sharks, including white hammerheads. The scientists and indigenous rangers are hoping to gather enough information to put together a management plan for these waters to try to ensure that these animals and the ecosystems they depend on stay healthy for generations. Jane Barton, ABC News, Groot Island.